everybody welcome back to my channel today we're going to learn a new stitch which is what you see here this is called the primrose stitch uh, this is a, a semi closed stitch um, it is resembles a little bit of a rose if I stretch it out for you a little bit you can get more of a feel for the design if you look closely you can see well, I can't stretch it and let you see, but I'm going to show you right here. If you look, you can sort of see a, um, like a, what do you want to call the um, stem of it? And then you can kind of see a little bit of a budding type effect. And then you see the holes right here, sort of resembling like the flower part. So, um... It's a really nice stitch if you want a semi-closed up stitch and then it just repeats itself. So it's a very, it's a very simple stitch. So I'm going to show you how to do this. And what you need to do is chain in multiples of 3 plus 2, which is what I did. And I have a total of 14. So multiples of 3 and then at the end of that row you want to add 2 once you get to your desired length. Okay, so again, as I said, I chained 12, not 12, I'm sorry, I chained a total of 14. All right, and that includes my two. So what you want to do is you want to work a single crochet, chain two, single crochet in your third chain. Okay, so one, two, three. You want to go a single crochet, chain two, and a single crochet all in that third chain from your hook all right and then what you're going to do is skip two one two and you're going to repeat that so go into that next stitch after you've skipped two, go into that third stitch again and do a single crochet chain two and single crochet back in that same stitch and you'll do that across skip two single crochet, chain two, and single crochet back down in that same stitch. Okay, skip two, single crochet back down in that next stitch, chain two, and single crochet. Okay, so now you should have two left. You want to skip that next stitch and you want a half double crochet into that last stitch. Okay? And this is what you're going to have at the end of the first round. All right, that's your foundation row. So now you want to turn chain 3. All right? So now in those chain 2 spaces here that we made, sort of where you see your peaks, you're going to do three double crochet in each of those. So go put three double crochet into that chain two space or that peak, whichever you want to classify it as. And that's pretty simple. And basically you've made a shell. So go into the next one, put three doubles. And go do that all the way across your piece. Okay. Get into that last one as well. So three doubles here. And then in that turning chain which you should see that at the end. Do not skip that. That's sticking out there for a reason. You want to put a double crochet in there. Make sure you get both of those loops. Put a double crochet there. Because if you remember you did that chain three here at the beginning, well you don't want to leave the end hanging. You want to match the end with the beginning. Okay. So now you're going to turn and you're going to go actually to round two because this bottom was your foundation chain this was row one, now this is row two. Chain two, and that's going to count right here as your first your first stitch. So now you're going to go work into the second 
double crochet that we made of each one of these shells. So here's your first one, second, and third. So we're just going to be working into the second double crochet of each shell at this point. But we're going to repeat what we did on the foundation row. So you're going to jump and go into that second double crochet and do a single crochet, chain two, and go back down in that, that double crochet or that single crochet now for another single crochet. Same thing we did. Okay? And that's all you're going to do. So jump to the next um, center double crochet of this shell on the next one. Single crochet, chain two, single crochet in the same stitch. Okay? Next shell here, you want to go to the second double crochet, do a single crochet, chain two, Go back down in the same one and do a single crochet. Second double crochet in the next shell, single crochet, chain two, single crochet. Okay, now you're at the end. Remember, we've got to match the end with the beginning. So you want to do a half double crochet in this turning chain to even that up. Okay? And that's pretty much all there is to this stitch. So now what you're going to do is you're going to turn and you're just going to repeat rows one and two. So row two says you're going to go back in your chain in three. I'm sorry, row one says to chain three. And now you're going to go back into those chain two spaces and you're just going to go and put your shell, which is your three double crochet. So this is a very simple pattern and it goes fairly quickly. So you'll put your three doubles here, actually three now, not four. So you, there's no chaining in between, which makes this project go very quickly, actually. And I think this is one that would be very beautiful changing color um, with the uh, shells and then the um, actual uh, making of the points. Okay, so we're finishing up here with the last shell. And this row, you do the double crochet here in the end. Okay, so then you'll do row two now. So you'll turn, you'll do a chain two here. And now you'll just start working in the second double crochet of each shell. So you'll do a single crochet, chain two, and single crochet. Jump over to the next shell, which is the second double crochet. So you'll do a single, chain two, and a single. And then you'll work it across. Make sure you pull those, uh, not tight, but you want them to pull rather comfortably because you don't want to leave any big gaps there. This is meant to be a semi-closed stitch. And you can leave relatively large gaps if you're not careful. And you don't want this to be really gappy. Alright, so at the end you want to do a half double to match the beginning of this row. Alright, and that's pretty much all there is to this. this. This is just a very simple yet delicate primrose stitch. Okay, and then you just go back and you repeat rows 1 and 2, 1 and 2, 1 and 2, till you have your desired height and length. Okay, so I hope you guys enjoyed this pattern. Until next time guys, happy hooking!